Hey everyone, thanks for coming back for another video. Today's video, I am adding more storage space in my small kitchen by turning an old china hutch into a functional. Today's video is my first ever collaboration and I'm so glad it's with Marina from Fearfully Created. Marina had me when she called her couch Joe Dirt and painted it and it actually turned out great. Ever since then, I've been hooked. She's hilarious and just like me, she's a mom on a mission to remodel her home on a budget and live as simple and happy as possible. I know you will enjoy her content so check her video out and leave a comment letting her know I sent you. And if you're from Marina's channel, please let me know in the comments. I would love to say hello and welcome. And if you're new, I am Becca. I am a stay-at-home mom of three. I upload content around cleaning, remodeling our mobile home, organization, food, and lifestyle type content. I would love to have you join the community. Please hit the red subscribe button and the notification bell so you will be notified when I upload a video. This is a project I started when I first purchased our mobile home a couple months ago. So the footage you are seeing here is in our old mud room of our rental. I knew we weren't going to have enough space with the current cabinets in our mobile home. So I searched Pinterest for small kitchen organization ideas. I saw a photo of a mobile home where someone took a china hutch and turned it into cabinets in their kitchen. It looked beautiful and unique and they painted it a bold green. I love this idea because it was inexpensive compared to new cabinets and it was custom to their taste. That really inspired me and I of course started looking on Facebook Marketplace and found this china hutch for pretty cheap. My original plans were to break it into two and use the upper piece as a coffee station where I could hang my mugs and all of my coffee stuff. And then I wanted to use the bottom piece like how I do now. But I never measured and I realized I have no space for the upper part of the china hutch and had nowhere else to put it in my home so I had to give it away. As you saw, I first started the project by sanding it down and then wiping it clean. The sanding took me a few hours total. I never have the time to just sit and complete a project. My time is pretty spoken for during the week, so I completed most of this project here and there over the course of two months. I would sand for an hour or so and then get tied up doing something for my family. And I'm sharing this because I hope it encourages you to try to complete a project that brings you joy. Even if your life is busy and it's hard to find the time, a majority of my projects are completed at random times, small windows of opportunities where I have time to try to get something done. Once this project was completed, I was just like, yes, give yourself a pat on the back because that took time in between everything else going on. I loved this paint color because it just seems to go with everything. The paint I showed was Vintage Duck Egg. I have never purchased expensive quality paint before. I am always a discount or cheapest on the shelf kind of girl. But when I was searching for storage ideas, I saw so many pieces of furniture with bold colors. And I wanted to find some good paint, so I chose Dixie Belle because it was linked to a lot of beautiful pieces I saw on Pinterest. As you guys know, we had to move in quicker than we had wanted, but glad we did because it pushed us to complete a lot of our projects and we're saving a lot of money. So when we moved in, I sort of quickly lined the bathroom vanity, kitchen cabinets, and this with the dollar store shelf liner. And we just kind of shoved things in spots because we were in a hurry.
also going to be redoing this piece I got for free a few months back. I gave it a good clean and it holds all of my small kitchen appliances well, but I wanted to paint it and find another spot for the stuff up top so I can use the top as a place for decoration. Overall, I loved how this island turned out. It really did help add storage and function to our kitchen as well as a pop of color. That is all for this video you guys. I look forward to talking to you in the comments and I'll catch you in the next one.